Good morning guys, it's VidCon day two. I've had a chilled morning, I had a very late night. And I'm now heading to a panel uh, with a bunch of the other travel creators. Um, I need to find food as well though, I'm super hungry. We're going the back route. I haven't done the back route before. Oh cool, there's a little, uh, little golf cart as well. Oh, I like it. Can we jump on here? Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. We don't need to walk here. I love that we have a Walking security guard <laughs> accompanying us. Josh, how are you feeling about the panel? This is my first ever panel. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm a better break dancer than anything else. So if all, go, if all goes badly, you I can just dance. do some break dancing. Oh, Dotan's here. Hey, he's alive. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Hey. I literally cannot bring him anywhere. I'm just eating the whole time. For me, being present and being able to stay present is something that I think just comes with practice because when you first are filming a lot, you'll be very focused on the camera and what you're doing and looking at the screen and that is the risk is you don't feel like you're there. But I just found over the years, like I, it's become almost like an attachment to my body where I don't think about it and I'll get to the end of the day and I'm like, I genuinely can't remember filming anything today. Guys, we had a great panel, um, just meeting a few people afterwards. Check this out. Two Live the Adventure logo tattoos. Your sisters, right? Your yeah. twins. Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe it. Placement and everything. Yeah, I love it. When did you get them done? Uh, my birthday. Right, that was a lot of fun. Me and Laura have to whiz out now to like drop off a letter. Oh yeah. And see. then we're coming back to the like main convention hall where I haven't even checked it out yet, but I'm going to the Mavic stand, well the DJI stand to talk about me traveling with the Mavic and the Phantom drones and yeah, hopefully get to share with a few people what it's like uh, using a drone. Should be fun. Oh I think I'm here. I think this is it. Yo! Um, I hope you guys are all having a good VidCon. It's been pretty hectic. Uh, I'm excited to be here just sharing a little bit. It's kind of informal, but it's my first time in the convention center, so it's uh, nice to see you guys. When you've got a tiny machine, and I'm still I'm baffled by the technology, I don't know if you guys feel this as well. Like, I sometimes I'm looking at the drones, I'm like, I don't know how they made that. I literally have no idea. But anyway, I'm, sh I'm flying around, and for me, it's just. Um, it's just this completely different perspective. When I was in Kenya earlier in the year, I went to visit this uh, tribe called the Samburu tribe. And I, uh, and I thought, oh, this would be a really fun opportunity to kind of throw the Mavic up and get some cool shots of the village. And the people there, um, I mean, they, they've seen glimpses of the modern world, but they're they live pretty primitively. They just heard goats and, you know, they might have seen like cell phones and stuff, but they've never seen a drone before. And uh, sending this up and being able to kneel down and show these, uh, these kids, um, like, the perspective of their village that they've grown up in, and even the elders of the village, showing this perspective of their home that they've never seen before. Their jaws just dropped and there's this excitement. Uh, and for me, it, it's so simple. It's just a, it's a small device, but what you're able to do with it and how it impacts people, I don't know. I've just seen a lot of that traveling and been able to capture these, uh, these, these moments that I wouldn't have been able to do um, without it. Josh is up next. Yes, Josh. I was always having trouble getting the best shots, having to climb onto a tree just to showcase from the bottom what it looks like. Risking my life, almost getting hurt, but I was doing it for the shots. And then after a while, people start picking up on drones. Everyone starts doing drones, getting the shots way better. Instead of me sitting in a tree, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna get a drone. 
Guys, I've just bumped into Jay, Jay Cation. He is the only person repping from the Live the Adventure Summit in January uh, at VidCon this year. And he was just telling me, tell, tell him what you were yeah, telling man. me. Yeah, man. I mean, um, it's been six months. Um, it's been great. Like 40 people, and it was one weekend. We all connected, and we're still close together. Um, six or seven of us have connected since, and they visit me. I live in Barcelona, and uh, it's just created such a great like friendship and relationship with other bloggers that you can't get anywhere else like a VidCon. I mean, VidCon's great. It was just the summit was like, it was really intimate. Like there wasn't, like I said, there wasn't a lot of people there. I don't know if you watched the vlogs from back in January, but for me, it's so heartwarming to hear like real, true friendships were formed on that weekend, and I don't know, it means a lot, man. I'm glad, I'm really, really well, glad it happened. Thanks to this guy because he created a sub network, like a sub with the adventure, like friends. Yeah. That we, we're gonna last a lifetime. So we've just been resting up for the last couple of hours. We managed to get some dinner and now we're heading into the party with a little bit less energy than we had last night, but I'm still ready. I'm still ready. Are we gonna do a little photo booth photo? <laughs> Okay, we need to pick out outfits. Oh. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh, I'm liking this one. I'm liking this one. Yes, Max. I'm loving that style. What do you think, guys? I'm in Italy. All this time I thought it was the pack. Yes, Max. Just grew it out for the evening. This is, this is us, me and Max, a still image. And check this out. You can scan it on the phone and then it gives like an aug augmented reality of us dancing. That is incredible. And then you can just move that around, can you? Oh, bro, look, check it out. That's unbelievable. Check that out. Oh, hey, we've just ducked out the party like we did last night to show people the bus. We're gonna have our own little party. Max has gone to get the sound box, so we literally are gonna have a party in here. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. God bless the Lord. This is incredible. Isn't this cool? It's so beautiful, isn't it? This is incredible. This is just like. Whoa! So legit, I don't want to go back to the hotel It's so nice. It's so nice. Holy crap. Holy crap. Have a look around. This is a freaking tiny home. Oh, this is my favorite bit, seeing people's reactions. Boy, Max has shown up with a speaker. You brought the party, bro. <laughs> Guys, for some reason we have all got on the roof. I kind of like it. And we've had this cool idea, well Max had this cool idea of decking the entire roof. So if we, if we leveled it off here, we could properly deck it and then have like bean bags out here, have a little safety fence. Yeah. Be careful, Jeff. Be careful. It's slippery. It's slippery. Have a pop-in fireman's pole. Yeah. Because like, you can line it when it's driving and just pop it in and just slip it down. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I did it. Started a better party than the one we were just at. <laughs> We've got the patrol car, it's just pulled up. Oh, he's leaving. He's leaving. I think he's gonna try and come around the other way. He's trying to. I think he's leaving you alone. I think so. I think he's just seen how cool the bus yeah, is and he's I like, oh, don't worry, they are cool. He, he saw that we're cool people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing anyway, Jeff? Oh, I'm doing I, I don't great. Think I've, I don't think I've said hello to you on my vlog I, yet. I'm doing great and I'm really loving your bus. It's really nice. So guys, Jeff's had a, a few problems the last month or so with his bus. He's had some engine problems, but thankfully, when did you sort it out? Last week? About a week ago. Last week, he out. figured it out himself. One and a half to two months broken down and I had to get towed by people with cars and trucks around the neighborhood of board yeah. tickets. Well, I'm glad he got it sorted. Yeah, nine times towed in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's one of the issues living in vehicles is, yeah. there's a lot of problems to overcome sometimes, but it's very rewarding when you do overcome them. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you've yes. managed to do it. 
So guys, I'm still on the bus. I went and got my laptop. I'm gonna edit here for a little bit. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's like, it's, it's pretty late. It's like quarter past two. I've got a meet up tomorrow. At, for some reason, they booked my meet up for 9.30. Like VidCon don't even understand who I am. <laughs> I'm gonna be so asleep. Uh, but Max has offered to come and do his uh, peanut belly, butter jelly dance. You know, the one he's doing at Africa Burn. So we might try and, uh, yeah, wake up with that tomorrow morning. And then I'm really pumped for the panel in the afternoon. We've got some, uh, we've got some cool plans for that. Right, on with the edit. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, third day of VidCon, last day. It's gonna be pretty epic. I'll see you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure. Boom.